about to embark on my journey to California to get my Tommy John surgery. We are packed, as you can see. Let's do it. Yeah, right here we got Matt Witt. We gotta go, let's go, dude. So we finally made it through security. About to roll to get some coffee. Here, sprint, go, 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 go. So we've got some, uh, with the big water or the small water? Columbi, La Columbi. For muscle wellness. Fire me up. On our way to the Uber. About to get uh, some Taco Bell tonight, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Plane ride wasn't bad though. I had one dude at the window seat. There's nobody in between us. Really? Yeah. So you had space. Dang, dude. I had a, uh, I had a kind of like a weird dude next to me. I don't know. I think at one point he took his shoes off, and that's kind of a no-no in my book. It's like the minute, yeah, the minute you make like a plane ride as if you're sitting on the couch at home, just to get more comfortable. In my book, I'm like, dude, just wear com more comfortable clothing. Let's go. Appreciate it. Everything. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. Hello. Can you join us? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> as long as that's okay. Three nights in a king size. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Three nights in a king size. What's up, Mets? This just looks so good. No, I'm exhausted. Yes. Yes. There we are. Forgot Diablo sauce. I know, that's exactly what you guys were thinking. But for me being a picky Taco Bell eater, it's a little bit of a letdown when you don't get to soak these thick, perfect stacks. Because look at how thick these are. Look at how thick these are. I gotta wake up tomorrow at probably like around seven to go get my COVID test. But then we actually have a pretty exciting day planned. And our plan is to hike the main trail up to the Hollywood sign, or I think behind the Hollywood sign. So super iconic trail. It's apparently the, the go-to trail in LA. Won't be able to do this in two days. Let's go, baby. Woo. is unaffected wasn't as bad as I thought like usual we're now gonna probably had to get some coffee and some food because that's what I need and that's what Matt needs and then we're gonna go try and find a find a trail and go hiking so stay tuned what are we working with you that out with your camera, impressive. <laughs> we are at Marie's Cafe and Grill in West Hollywood. Yes, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. As you can see here, I got a croissant, bacon, egg, and cheese croissant, or sorry, sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. We're gonna enjoy this meal, and then roll to the Hollywood sign. Look at you being a tourist. Look at there. Look at there. So we're going through the Brush Canyon Trail, which is behind the Hollywood sign. And it is a three mile hike up. With that being said, we just got a long day ahead of us. There's the goal. We're gonna be right up there.
That's hilarious, dude. Like by the side? Yeah, I believe so. I believe he's like right there. Oh, there it is. What a local. Yeah, there we go. Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> Made it to the top, Hollywood sign. Um, how are we feeling? Good man. Just got some uh, some water, refresh. We're gonna take on the observatory next. See the observatory over there? Why not? We got trail mix, we got water. What else do we need? You know? This video is sponsored to you by Power Up. Gourmet nut. Premium. Simple ingredients. Great for on the go snacking. Man, whenever I'm in need of some on the go snacking, I always turn to our good friends at Power Up to provide me with the nutritional sustenance. What a beautiful day. All right, so we are on the other side now of the canyon, I guess you'd call it. As you can tell, we were up there at one point today. But we're hitting landmarks, baby. That's all that matters. What you got, Matt? Good time. Good That's weather. It. Good time, good weather. <laughs> no, we're good. Thank you, though. I don't know what view's better. Like, the observatory's pretty cool. Then you spin around, and you got everything in the back. We are done hiking. We're calling the Uber now. Um, the observatory, though we did not go inside. Cool landmark to hit. The Hollywood sign, though we did not go up and touch it. Cool landmark to hit. Um, the 10 miles in between. Cool landmark to hit. I'd say that uh, probably gonna hit the pier tonight. Santa Monica Pier? Santa Monica Pier tonight. Go grab some sushi. We're gonna keep on rolling, so stick with us. Stay with us. Have a good time. We're here to have a good time. Yep, not awkward at all. Let's go. All right, sweet. See y'all later. Doop. Sell out right here. Bruh. We are officially just got out of the Uber and pulled up to uh, Santa Monica Pier. We're about to roll to some sushi, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, you get in there, huh? Today is the day that I get Tommy John. I haven't really felt any specific anxieties or emotions up until this point. It's been kind of a what's the next step type mentality. If you were to go back and we were to run through it very quickly like elbow hurts, what's the next step? Address it to a trainer. Out of my hands, they're the professional. I'm only the player. After that, MRI is the next step. MRI gets done, see doctor. Tear. Trust the professional. Next step after that is selecting a surgeon. Talk to my people. Elatrosh gets recommended. Trust the professional. After the surgeon selected, talk to him directly. Wants another surgeon in there to move the nerve. Trust the professional. I'm getting a phone call. Hey, what's up? Wow, surgeries got pushed back. Latest update. So earlier surgeries get pushed back. I'm once again, day of surgery. 
day of my new elbow, trusting the professional. In this process, I feel like there are so many things that can draw up anxiety in an individual, right? So many uncertainties, so many unknowns. The way that I've combated those triggers is simply to let the professional do their job. Put your trust in somebody else who you feel is most qualified for the objective you seek to reach. Let's go do it. Fire me up. We are at Curlin and Job. About to go get surgery. I guess I'll see you on the other side after I teleport. Um, I wish you luck, Riley. Peace. your boy's back for post-surgery. He's back from surgery. Um, you know, big UCL guy now, big brand new UCL guy. And uh, what goes with the old UCL tear repair surgery? You already know, baby. A Doritos Locos Taco. So I'm going to absolutely demolish this food. I got two Crunchwrap Supremes with extra beef, no sour cream, no tomato, and uh, I got a Doritos Logos Taco and I'm very excited because I haven't eaten all day. And everybody else is telling me, oh, it's going to be bad on your stomach, oh, but you live and you learn and that's kind of my lifestyle choice. Also, met Francis Ngannou today, so I didn't meet him, that's a lie, that's a 100% fallacy that I just said, that's absurd. I was in the same room as Francis Ngannou today, so, but yeah, so I'm going to crush this Taco Bell and I'll get back to you when I get back to you. So. Got my squeezer. I uh, slept like a baby last night. Haven't really had any pain other than moving it. Um, definitely know that it's stiff. Nothing really feels that bad, but yeah, day one and your boy's already squeezing. He's squeezing, you hear that? He's squeezing air out of this thing. His forearm muscles are working. I'm gonna take that as a successful surgery. I think everything went dynamite. All in all, man, I'm in good spirits. I feel really good. My body feels good, sleep feels good, my, my arm feels good, my hand feels good, even though like, cause, even though the Palmaris was taken. Other than, I mean, I got all the details I wanted. I went in with the right mindset. I was excited, not too much anxiety. Got on the table and I still didn't feel that much anxiety and then I was out and then I teleported. I feel rejuvenated, I feel good, I feel just good. What a day, what a time. It honestly feels like I didn't even get surgery. I mean, obviously it feels like a surgery, but just, maybe it's just so similar to my last surgery that I'm like, eh, there's something about this feeling, man. Uh, let's get my day started, baby. Let's do it. All right, we are uh, checking out of the Cambria. It's been a pretty good stay. I'd say one of the better hotels the Mets have put us up in, um, in my opinion, but about to head to the airport and just get there early, flights at 11.30. We're going to do that, and uh, I'm going to check back in with you when we get there, so, peace. Made it through security. Matt and I, as you are, as you all know, I'm always playing follow the leader with this guy. He's no, He has the game plan. He knows where and when to be at all, anywhere at all times for us. He is the itinerary master, and uh, we're about to go get some food and fuel up for our four and a half, hopefully, hour flight. The breakfast burrito, a little breakfast croissant, sounds like a move as well. What are you thinking? Croissant. You want croissant? For sure. What's in the bag, baby? What's in the bag? One. Day. These are all the same. Wow, beautiful. Let's go. Oh, oh, I can't even. This is the final right. boarding call for Atlanta Flight 321. Please board Atlanta Flight 321 at this time. Let's go, dude. Let's go. We're seated up. We uh, boarded a little early to uh, basically get situated with my, you know, sling and whatnot, my belongings. So I got the old window seat, which is going to be super exciting. 
Yeah, it's been a good trip so far. I'd say that um, I'd say that it's successful. I'm able to hold my coffee with my right hand, and I have pretty good range of motion with my fingers, and I feel like I'm going to be able to come right out of it and uh, maybe rip some Elden Ring. Shout out to Jake Ortega. You know, Good morning, everyone. I definitely won't be milking it, that's for sure. Like Alright, um, while we wrap up here, it's been nice, California. I appreciate it once again, and uh, peace.